Johnny, you know you have to wear socks the same length, right? No. No? Socks, I don't care. At least? They're close enough. No. No, that's like, wrong. That's not wrong. What are you doing? <laughs> same length. <laughs> no care in the world. Messy hair, don't care. Yeah, hat on. Messy hair, don't care. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, today, working on the 350. Um, we got oil, filter, then we got, um, what would you even call this? It's an oil, filter, sandwich, plate, slash, cooler. Yeah, basically where the oil cooler, or the oil cooler, the oil filter screws onto this plate the screw that well, screws on yeah i'll show you in, yeah. but um uh, it leaks so i got a new gasket for it i got some engine restore filter and then some thicker oil to try to see if it will help with um this thing smoking a little bit and uh what Oh goodness. But um, let's get to it. Let's get this thing on some jack stands and in the air. But. Why? I don't have my car over there. Hood rat stuff with your hood rat friends. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. So? They were. Off wish, probably. <laughs> o2 sensors off wish i think so no they were cheap they were cheap apparently there's honda engines on wish the honda engines They're like 122 bucks with, with like 400 dollars shipping but what else are we doing i pull all half the front of the car off stupid under train. no we don't all right now I got something cool that we did last night. So sick. It's a shift knob for the 350. It was bright red and there was no reason for it to be red. It was Ford ST red. Ford ST red. It was a black and red racing stripe But we were gonna paint it white. Then Scotty was like, Oh, I painted it primer black for the primer. And then uh, I was like, oh, the black looks really good. It's like the black looks really good. So they were like, well, splatter white on it. And I'm like, okay. Well, it ended up looking like that. Which I dig it. I dig it. It looks freaking sick. So I'm going to put it on here and see what it looks like. I think that looks killer. What? My opinion. I don't know. Something different. What are you doing up here? Any under trail. Oh, goodness. But just like Scotty said, we gotta take the under tray off first so we can get to everything underneath it. We gotta put O2 sensors on, the, the gasket, oil, all that. Um, but this thing has a C1 aluminum under tray on it and it's kind of a pain in the butt to get on and off. So I'm gonna get down there, help him with that and then we'll get back with you. Yes, sir. As you can tell, it's leaking oil. She's leaking oil. Well, let's get under here. Oh, okay. It's leaking between there where the oil filter screws onto this this sandwich is leaking between it where it bolts to the side of the engine so uh, we gotta pull all this off and um, change it so that's gonna be step one oh yeah she's ready for a change oh I 
She's trying. That's not that bad. Oh. Uh, Scotty? What? I can't get it off. Well, yeah, there's a, there's a socket on the end of it for a reason, son. Well, give me one. Where's the new one, son? Figure out what socket. That's better. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna give you the chair we had out already. She's out! <laughs> okay, so right. now we're. Well, wait for Jake to figure out the light. Okay. We're gonna have to now take this loose, and this whole plate should come off. We might have to take this hose loose, but I'm hoping we ain't got to. So we ain't gotta mess with stuff that we don't have to take off. Right. I thought we went down a little bit. This guy's not used to holding the camera. Nope. Yeah. Hopefully this doesn't give us a bunch of trouble. Well, uh, let's find a wrench for that and try to tackle it. Alright, sounds good. Oh, oh, shit. That was not as tight as I thought it was going to be. And we just give her the good old ugga duggers. Oh. Yep. We're gonna have to take one of them lines off. Uh, Jacob, that isn't the right, uh, that hey, isn't the right. That isn't the right gasket, is No, it, it should have been an O-ring. Goodness gracious, we're gonna have to run to town. Uh, no, no one's gonna have this. That's freaking awesome. We can put her back together, or you can order that, cause that's what's, what's leaking. Uh, that's well, see if we can't find nothing in town. Call, we'll, we'll call so we don't have to drive. Uh, so, this isn't even for this car. I don't, I don't know what happened there when I ordered Unless that. It was for a newer 350 and they changed the sandwich plate. I don't know. But, but I clicked 2004 on the diagram. But this is the sandwich. This is the O-ring that's leaking. And it still looks brand new. So, and I tried getting these, and uh, no one can even get it. So, what we're going to do is throw this one back in the car and hope for the best. If not, it'll just keep leaking. We'll just have to keep putting oil in it. We're going to order a half one for it. What's doing, Jacob? I'm putting this stupid thing back together. Hey! We're on air right now. Watch your language. PG-13. <laughs> Did you hear Brandon? Yeah. No. How tight is this ever? We're the long-winded mother's son. Where's that, uh... What do you think? I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's not as milky as what it was. No. How you doing, Jacob? Freaking putting this thing back together still. It's a nice drain plug you got there. Thanks, dog. You gonna tighten it? Yep. Look at you go. Now you wanna put the oil filter on? Nope, because I can't get out of this freaking creeper. It's still sitting in there. <laughs> you just got out of the creeper and been okay. <laughs> your lazy, your laziness made it harder. What are you doing now? I'm gonna oil the sucker up. Maybe. We don't normally buy pencil pencil here. No, we normally don't. But We're a Valvoline, the big old V, not the big old P. Money bags back there. Drives an ST rich. <laughs> I'd like to try the uh, Crown Purple or whatever it is. Not the Crown Purple, the Royal Purple. Yeah, that's what I put. That's just so year. expensive. It's ten dollars more for yeah. five gallons. It's the Forty dollars for five gallons. Yeah. It's ex it's absurd. You know, in the hatch, I ran. In the hatch, I ran. Royal King oil. 
<laughs> well, it's a hatch. I think the mobile one for my car was like 13 quarters. Holy whoo! Yeah. Mine's like five or six for the high mileage, high high mileage valve. I got it through work though and got it. That does not make sense. Looks good to me. What are you talking about? How often do you come here? What? Come here often? Yes. It's my garage. Don't drink it. No. It smells weird. It's like not a strong smell either, though. I made a mess. Oh well. We'll get it. Do it. Do it. Chug it. Chug it. Chug it. Chug it. Bad boy. And he spills half of it. The concentration on the man's face. Will he be able to finish strong? We'll watch his performance now. He's got a nice steady stream going on. He could get almost a perfect run besides his mess up in the beginning. His concentration's on point. Look at him flow. That's a nice. Oh, he's getting kind of risky here. That's a that's a big play. He's got a grin now. He's losing concentration. I don't know if he's being serious about this competition this year. He's kind of taking it as a joke. He had to take a break. That's gonna really show on his score. Judges, what's the score? 6.6, 6. So 6. 7, right? 6.1. Because he got a gap out of Yeah. <laughs> He's back at it again. He's going in for his second run. The first run wasn't too great. He had an overall score of 6.4. Four. Four Enough. Mine. It only holds 4.7. Yeah. Mine holds 6. Mine holds 4.8. Mine holds 6. And it's a fucking four-banger. But my, I also have a big block four-blanger. 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 Four Good thing it wasn't recording. Oh, I was recording all of that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Jacob? We just cleaned the shop. Yeah, and Tommy destroyed it. Yeah, totally. I had to pick up one wrench because of you. The one that was over here? Yeah. That you left here? You left it there. I you guys haven't done that. Oh, I forgot. No, so we have not done this yet. So. Round one! Whoa, one's blue, one's green. Uh, there's probably a reason for it. Which one's longer? Should be the same. No. Yes. No. The okay. longer one will be... Uh, yeah, oh, you were right. Yeah. Are you yeah. recording? If you're recording, yeah, I have the phone here. You almost slapped your if phone. If you're recording, you can't. Bro. Well, it depends on where the plug is, too, though. Yeah, we ain't gonna know which one's what. One's longer than the other because of the wiring, yeah. So we gotta figure out which one's what. Yeah, it's not, it's not a hard job because we didn't put the O2 sensors in it. It's so we've been running for like. Five, four or five months without O2 sensors. I know. Don't remind me. You should be ashamed of yourself. I am. That's why I bought O2 sensors. Then I got gaffed by a focus. Yeah. A focus. Brandon's one of the worst owners over here. Focus yeah. owner. Uh, the worst, worst they only beat me because he put a different engine in Yeah. The first engine couldn't handle it. What are you struggling with over there, Jacob? Not being able to see. I can see it pretty good. YouTube can too. Oh goodness gracious! All right, one down. Now we got to find the plug for the O2 sensor to see which where if it's the long or the short one. Most likely the long one, but you never know. Cutting zip guys. Is my on it? Um. Yeah. These things are like stuck shut. I know. 
That's why I asked you to do it, because I can't record in. Don't cut the wires. This is like a game of Minesweeper. I can't. <laughs> we need a lift. Alright, YouTube. You know what to do. I wish we were that famous to just do that. Yeah, no YouTube, get us a lift, alright? Well, now your hands are like all up in the way. Alright. One more. One more. Yeah, there's one more. I thought I was doing that. one's supposed to stick. Oh, it's not. Ah. I see the passion in the man's eyes <laughs> for cutting zip ties. So, what are we doing, Jacob? I'm trying to figure out which um, O2 sensor goes to which side because one's longer than the other. Going out. That one goes over there. This one goes here. Okay, so the long one is the passenger side, YouTube. So you got a 350Z, YouTube. You know what to do. You'd have no room. Where's that fits all? Um... I don't see it, so it's got to be on your right side, Jacob. Jacob's taking the bolt out. You're about to, because I can't. <laughs> you just got to yacht it. Yeah. Yeah. See? That's all it took. You got to make noises, or you have to call it dirty names. Wow. Brandon, you've done this before? <laughs> you put... Take it. Take it. It, it gives you the strength to loosen the bolt when you make I like going into a full-blown screaming match while you're putting your life into a wrench. Yes, and it gives you the strength to break that bolt. Sometime, most of the time, yes. <laughs> like that's gonna help. <laughs> as, as you're two feet away from it too, you, all you probably did was get. What is the... going on? I hate this. My legs are starting to cross. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. Look at that. Now, what do we do with the wires? Oh, uh, they go, they clip like right here. Oh. I'm glad you know, because I didn't remember. It's been too long. Oh, look at that. Perfect. All right, now let's start her up, see if there's a check engine. Or, or service engine soon, or whatever. It was a service engine. Hi there. You struggling? A little bit. So we're trying to add more bolts to it. I have a hard time with this this uh, aluminum under tray staying in here mainly because I got these stupid these oh, do stupid we have any things. Any more of those in little there. screws? With the, one of any of these? I thought there was one more behind you. Got a red one. I mean that'll work. Screw it, you can't even see it anyway. But we're just trying to put some more bolts and stuff in it. That way we don't have as have any problems with it but pretty much got it done then we gotta take the car off the jacks and start it up check the oil and then she's ready to go all right after Freaking, I got some crazy freaking friends, man. <laughs> all right, um, after all that freaking monstrosity, I'm going to, oh, goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing up, let the oil filter get full of oil. Then I'm gonna go ahead, let it sit for a minute, let it run for a minute, let it sit for a minute, and then I'm gonna recheck the oil and make sure the oil is um where it needs to be the shift knob though so sick that 
that's awesome. Basically, all I did is put paint on a glove and flick it with like a million different colors. Nice. All right, so the oil's checked, all good. Um, so we're gonna go drive. Hopefully I can get Brandon to go drive with me as well. Take a little cruise real fast and uh, then come back to the house and everything will be good, hopefully. Hopefully everything will be the way that we need it to be. Um, but like I said, uh, I'm getting my rematch with Brandon. Hopefully it'll help. I'm not really um, concerned about really winning, but I want to know if the O2 sensors with the oil change actually helped this car at all. That's why I want to um, go run him again, but uh, he did beat me, so sad day, but but uh, let's go drive and come back and see how All we're... right, so it's the next day. Um, this car, man. Um, I went and drove it. Drove fine. When I got it back at idle, it sounded like crap. It sounded terrible. So I put the code reader up to it, read the, read the codes, had 202 sensor codes, which typical, I would assume. Um, and it had basically a code saying that it was pulling timing because the car was running too rich because it thought the cats were messed up. Um, so I didn't know what was going on. I couldn't figure it out. And finally, I decided to reset the ECU, reset the ECU. Um, Joe Fine, Joe Fine with the O2 sensors in it, brought it back, did the same thing. At idle, sounded like crap. So I'm like, okay. So I messaged Andrew Lewis, and um, he told me that with the Catless test pipes in it, I have to get it tuned to basically so the I have to get them get it tuned so the car knows that it doesn't have cats in it uh, so it doesn't pull timing because of blah 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 but um, so now I'm stuck trying to get this thing tuned um, it's a mess so if you have a 350 if you don't have the money to get it tuned or you don't care to run O2 sensors, I would not get Tesla's te or catless test pipes. I would stay catted. I would stay with cats. Um, unless you're getting it tuned already or you want to get it tuned or you have someone that'll do it for you or that you trust that's halfway decently cheap. Um, other than that, I would not do it because now I have to try to find someone that will tune this car, which isn't a bad thing, but it isn't cheap. Um, get out of this wind. Oh, goodness. All right. But getting a car tuned, it's a little bit of a process, plus it's a little, little expensive. Um, I'm trying to talk to a couple of different people, different companies to see um, who would be the best to go through and who um, would be the easiest. Uh, so hopefully I can find someone uh, that will tune it for me. Uh, I got a couple of people that I've messaged and just waiting on responses. So, but just wanted to throw that out there. If uh, you have a 350Z, um, for the time being, I would just do a cat back, do a cat back system, be done with it, um, leave it at that until you can get it tuned, or unless you do some other craziness to your car that. You need to get it tuned because if you need to get it tuned and you can get a car tuned, um, go ahead, yeah, throw them out. Throw, throw the cats out and whatnot. But for right now, we took the O2 sensors back out and she seems to be running like she was. Um, she seems to be doing a little bit better, but hopefully we can get this thing straightened out eventually. Um, it sucks that we can't, I can't just take it to someone and they can just be like, and it's done. Because it's got to be a little bit bigger of a process. Plus, if I might as well get it tuned, I might as well get it tuned to the stuff that it's got done to it. And, uh, oh goodness 
gracious that went. Uh, get the stuff done to it that's that's done to it, get it tuned, that way the computer knows that that's what's done to it. And that way uh, all my AFRs, my air to fuel ratios and everything is all spot on and where it needs to be for the car with the mods that are done to it. Um, but like I said, this car doesn't have a lot of stuff done to it. Uh, performance wise, basically cold air intake and exhaust, that's about it. Um, but and I don't know it just it sucks I have to get it tuned because I know a lot of other cars uh, you don't have to get if you like I know I think Sky was saying Hondas you don't really have to get them tuned out but the 350 you do so so if you have a 350 and you put test pipes on it catless at that point um, you will have to get the car tuned to know that it has cat it does not have cats it has catless test pipes so you will have to get the car tuned so that um, the O2 sensors know that uh, they're not there. If not, they'll freak out. Your car will run like crap. It's probably not good on your car. Um, actually, I know it's not good on your car for your car to pull timing and whatnot. But those are the three codes that I had after doing all of it. And it's just a pain. But like I said, hopefully I can get this car straightened out. But I took them out and took the O2 sensors out and we'll run it like it is. Hopefully the car will be all right like it is running without them. But yeah, 350Z problems. And I, I didn't know that you had to get them tuned out or I wouldn't have got Catless. I would have got a uh, high flow cat and that probably, you probably would have had to get that tuned as well. But I would have got, I would have went with cats again, but because the old ones were, they were bad. And you could, sh you could shake them and hear all the crap on the inside of it. So they weren't any good. So I'm not gonna throw those back in. Um, first of all, problems with the 350Z. But those of you who've watched it, you know now. So you can make the decision if you want Tatlas or not. But um, for right now, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys go down, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification button so you know when I upload next. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh yeah, by the way, some of the footage in this was filmed by Scotty. So if it's not that great, it's not my fault. We'll see you guys later.